Hello there. Today we're back again with the Dion Raptor cable TV box. There has been a previous video about this unit and I strongly recommend to watch that first because otherwise you're probably not going to be able to understand this video very well. You can find the link to the other video in the video description. So, let's take a look at the whole thing. As you can see, I have it taken apart once again. The tuner module has been removed that normally sits up there. I wanted to fix a problem that this has, and uh, that is uh, a thermal problem. This thing runs very hot. There is a heatsink on this processor, but that's not there because this is a piece of quality equipment. No, that's there because otherwise the processor chip would probably overheat within a few minutes and blow up or shut down or whatever. Uh, also, this uh, the tuner, the, uh, the tuner can, runs rather hot. It's quite surprising how warm this gets. I really wanted to do something about that, and what do you do when something gets too hot? Well, either you install a heatsink, which in that case has already been done, so it's no longer an option, or you install a ventilator fan, such as the one right there. This is a rather old cooling fan from a very outdated processor, and it has been repurposed to go into this cable TV box. Uh, now, that is not the interesting part about this whole thing. The interesting part is how it's connected. The power supply generates 12 volts. Comes into the circuit right there, and now you'd say, well, it's easy. You just hook the 12 volt fan up to the 12 volt power supply, and you're done. You could do that. The problem is, when the unit is in standby, the fan would still be running because, unfortunately, the standby switching happens somewhere around here. There is another little um, converter, another little switch mode power supply in this section of the circuit board that generates 5 volts as well as 3.3 volts. There is actually no part in this circuitry, as far as I can tell, that uses the 12 volts coming from this unit. It's all either 5 volts or 3.3 volts. The aim was to have a switched supply that goes on and off along with the receiver as you put it into the standby mode and wake it back up again. I first tried to power the ventilator fan using 5 volts because that is readily available. For example, right there. This apparently uh, would have been some sort of an internal USB uh, jack. It does have a ground, it does have a 5 volt output and then the two uh, unused pads in the middle connect straight into the processor. Problem was, the fan does not start with only 5 volts. As a matter of fact, it doesn't do anything aside from some slight shaking from time to time. So 5 volts is not enough. The next attempt was to use the switching signal in this SCART connector. The SCART connectors transmit a 12 volt switching signal, so when you turn a device such as a VCR or this cable TV box on, the TV can automatically switch to the SCART input. Well, in this case, that didn't work either. For one thing, for some reason, although it is supposed to be 12 volts, the switching signal on this cable TV box is only 6 volts, and then it's also a, uh, a signal that um, you cannot put a load on there. Uh, if, if you do, if you hook up a ventilator fan to that, it's just going to drop down to, you know, a few volts and the fan is not going to work either. So I finally had to uh, get a little creative and what I did is I installed a switching circuit, which we have right here. As you can see, very simple high side switch. We have our 12 volts coming from the power supply. That goes into the fan little fan motor. Since the motor is a partially inductive load, you have to have this diode right there. And then we have our transistor, and that's what makes this work. It's an NPN transistor, nothing special at all. The 5 volts that is the switched 5 volts that is readily available in various different places in this unit is what is used via this resistor to switch the transistor on and off. So that is what is sitting right there. As you can see, I have a, uh, a 
hugely overdimensioned NPN transistor. This is a 2SD2012. There is our little resistor. This is going to get this uh, heat shrink tubing over it for a little bit of safety. We have our uh, protection diode and across that is uh, the fan. That's where that connects. And uh, that just goes to ground right there. Our 5 volts, as I already said, this is our internal USB jack. So we have the brown wire is uh, 5 volts, the gray wire is ground, and then on this capacitor right there, this is this basically connects straight to this uh, power supply connector, so we have our 12 volts right there, so that's where the 12 volts are coming from. Ground is the same throughout all of this unit. Anyway, let's go ahead and give it a test. And it is going to uh, boot up. Unfortunately, it takes a while. As you can see, it says on. Throughout all of that time, the fan does not spin. The fan is going to turn on once the unit is ready to turn on the USB jacks. As you can see, there it goes. And it is running on the full 12 volts. And thankfully, it's a rather quiet fan. If we now go ahead and press our uh, standby switch right there, goes into standby mode, and this thing turns off. I finally have a fan in here that forces some air, some cold air into here all over this heat sink, and hopefully also a little bit around this uh, tuner can. The fan itself, I already have it screwed into the cover. It doesn't look very pretty, I will admit, <laughs> as you can see. Uh, but uh, this unit is not very pretty to begin with, so, oh well, doesn't matter. So there you have it. That is a ventilator fan for the Dion Raptor cable TV box. Thank you for watching, and see you again soon.